Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. I'm making a plaque today for a friend who just loves birds. Hope you enjoy. I painted this uh, plaque a while ago. It was one of the Easter ones. And so I thought, oh yeah, this will work perfect for this. I've found these. I've had in my stash for ages. Don't remember where I got them. I've got some really pretty napkins with birds on them. Like I said, my friend loves birds, has them all over her house, and it's her birthday, so I thought I'd make her something special. Looking to see if I've got enough letters to do what I want to do. Figure I better check first. Okay. I'm taking the second layer off the napkins and I really don't remember where I got these. I just found them in the drawer one day. You know, it's been good having the virus. It's made us all look in our stashes and figure out what we've got. So I'm seeing how they will come together and one napkin will work just fine. Ugh, jar sticks. Pry it apart. Give it a nice coat of Mod Podge. Try to lay it down very carefully because it's so thin it tears very easily. Sometimes you can push it and piece it back a little bit. I saw somebody do this online and I don't remember who it was. And it, uh, you just put it over and just kind of smooth it out. And it worked pretty good. Still had a few wrinkles in there. But since it's a uh, tissue paper, that's okay. It gives a, some nice texture. Yeah, I'm going to trim off this edge just a little bit. I'm trying to line up that little postcard on the bottom so it looks like it fits in there really nicely. You know, and I want to give a great big thanks to Mama Dares to DIY. Carrie, she is so awesome. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, she gave me a shout out on her Sunday shout out on her channel and it's helped me to get quite a few new subscribers so if you haven't come over from her channel and haven't heard about her you need to go watch her because she is awesome she is so talented she makes the most incredible things and come to find out she was a cake decorator and she was even on one of the competitions that she's just really cool And I thank all the new subbies for coming over. I'm almost up to 200. And I really don't do this to monetize. I just do it because I love it. I used to be an art teacher and I taught even after I left the school from teaching. I still taught at a art center and this way I can do what I love to do and I don't have to make a whole bunch of something or prepare a whole bunch of things and I can still show people how to do things and I'm very good at trying to tell people how to do things. Just ask my husband.
Oh yeah, I waited for it to, to dry just a little bit and then I went over the top of it. And now I'm just smoothing it out just a teeny bit with the plastic. Like I say, you've got to be very careful because it's really sensitive. But once it dries, it's tough. Okay, setting it aside for right now. Oh, there went the dog. Now I'm going to tear off a piece of saran wrap because it might not get back to the large Podge for a little while. And so if you wrap it in your brush in uh, plastic of some kind, it'll keep. When I've been house painting, I've put it in uh, Ziploc bags and put it in the freezer. And I've had them keep for a long time. Okay, now what I did was I took the sanding block and I just sanded off the edges and it came off very easy. It's a little bit stiffer. Now since it's a present, I figure I better be finishing the back. Or she'll look at me like I'm crazy. Which I am crazy. Okay, measuring now to find out where my center point is. Just going to put a little pencil mark so you can't see it. See how wide we have it. Okay, there's the pencil mark. And I'm going to put home down. And so I'm going to center the O and the M on either side of the center point. This little sharp tool I have has sure come in handy. If you have an ice pick, it probably would help the same way. It's kind of helped. Oh, I was having a heck of a time getting the M to lay down right. Lay down. Okay. Darn it. There. And I was doing best by eyeballing it. And I wanted to put it up a little higher on the sign. Now I can smooth it down so they're tight. And to keep them from falling off, we're going to get some more Mod Podge. Ugh, 
thing dried on again. It's the worst thing about having big jars. And I'm going to go over it with the Mod Podge so the letters won't fall off. And it doesn't hurt to go over the sign again. Okay, now it's all dry. I'm going to put the hanger on. Just a little glue. Just, just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of glue. Well, maybe more than that. Okay. And I'm putting just a little piece of burlap over the top of it. Just a little bit more glue. If a little will do, then a whole bunch will work really, really well. Or at least in Jackie's opinion. Okay, I'm going to sand these down to weather them just a teeny bit. They're made of wood. Let's see how far in I want. things out of my way so you can see what I'm doing. hanging up. What do you think? I think it came out really cute. I think she really like it. And there I put little flowers on. So I really appreciate you stopping by and watching and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Bye for now.